Hey YouTube, this is Dan, make another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Okay, I dried this punk wood out a day early, but anyway, nine days soaking is enough. So getting too excited about it. I did try some yesterday after it was dry. It took all day to dry it in the oven. But anyway, um, couldn't get it to take a spark. This is the ash lie punk wood. This is in the weakest solution too, so that's all good. That bit isn't dry. It's still a bit wet. This all feels pretty dry. Oh no, that one isn't. See, that could be it too. I might have to put it back in the oven. I'll leave it out in the sun to dry out. See, that's all dry. That, that is definitely dry. Oh, I might have to go through and box some rocks. The problem I found last night, or yesterday, was the fact it's very crumbly and I couldn't get it to stay on the stone without breaking up and drive the sparks into it effectively. Like all punk wood, it is very problematic to actually use without drop sparking it onto see I was getting sparks landing on it well, yesterday and they just go out see there was sparking sparks are landing on it but it's not and they just run along the fibres a bit and then they go out. They don't continue to ember. See that's again this is this is what I was finding yesterday. I might have to ash it. Because I found with ashed chunk part punk wood, I could get it to take a spark. Heavily ashed punk wood. But then again, why not just ash punk wood? If I'm going to just, I don't need to have the soaking then. I'm knocking all the ash off it. stone edge now this is the problem I was having because it's not the last time I used punk wood ash to punk wood was in a pile and I was drop sparking onto it not like this because all I'm doing is knocking ash off it because it's on the stone That's what I'm finding. This is not taking a spark. It's very hard to use like this. I'm not using it the right way. So I'm going to have to find a better way. I might have to soak this again 
in a stronger solution because this one didn't take it like it wasn't it's very different to um, the cattail fluff so yeah it's just not working for me I could drop I could try and cast sparks into it but it's not going to work I did all they do is the sparks will land on it and it'll travel a little bit and then go out and that that was that's what I was finding because I'm I was getting sparks landing on it but even if I have a pile of like break it up into a dust it's pretty much useless then but if this doesn't work I can always just char it anyway it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that it's been wet punk wood can be wet and I can put it in a char tin and it'll char up no dramas just char the end of it and you can get it to go so it is not a, ever a failed experiment with punk wood so that's that's just the, the reality of punk wood so yeah but I was I am a bit disappointed that this I thought that solution was strong enough to be able to get this to go but um I might talk to Jason and see how he did it. I will re-watch a couple of his videos and see what um, other, see the way he was doing. I'm pretty sure he just held it on the edge of the stone. Uh, glasses are not sitting right on my face. Um, yeah, see how he, he did it. I think he just had it on the edge of his stone and just go from there. It could be that it's a bit wet still too. I might dry it out for longer anyway. So yeah stay tuned so I'm, I'm, not, I'm by far not giving up on this because this is the cattail or bulrush fluff is exciting but this is the one I wanted to do more because you can find this stuff the bulrush fluff goes in and out of season this stuff doesn't so yeah I wanted to get this one going you know if you had a big chunk like that and it, it would take a spark. It would be fantastic. You know? yeah. Anyway, preliminary results are negative on it so far. But yeah, it, it might not have dried it out. It might not be a strong enough solution. I have got stronger solutions coming up. And I did a burn last night. Um, so I'll get some more ash. I've got um, that bucket. is only got that much in it of ash and I'll get more I'll probably get I don't know over the weekend I'm hoping to do have another couple of fires I'll, I'll get at least that much again in of ash so I'll, I'll see if I can make up another another really good strong solution at least a nine on the um on the in the litmus test I'm hoping for a ten I'm trying to get ten I think the more caustic it is, the better it is. Anyway, we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching.